Miss Karen English teacher presents Read, Learn, Teach, Interview and Write. In this learning and evaluation situation, you will cooperate with a partner and practice speaking English. You will also have fun while you learn how to be your own teacher while you read or analyze a book, newspaper, poem, or pamphlet, and how to interview others in your class to see what they've learned. Right now in this video, we will be reviewing the six pages of handouts that go with this lesson. Here, Audrey is showing you what one of the pages will look like to you in class. Page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, page six. Page one. You be the English teacher. The more you teach, the more you learn. Is it true that anyone can be a teacher? Yes. All you need to know is one more thing than your students know. What do you mean? Well, let me give you an example, okay? Okay. As soon as she learns how, even a little five-year-old girl can teach another little five-year-old girl how to tie her shoes or how to count to 20, right? Right. And the more the little girl teaches, the better she becomes herself, right? Right, because while she's teaching, she's practicing. That's right, and so today we will be the English teachers, okay? Yes, great, I understand now. The more we teach, the more we will learn. Exactly, let's start. Today, you and your classmates will be taking turns to teach each other. One, take turns reading the text out loud. Read one sentence and your partner reads the next. Pronounce the words properly and try to figure out together what the text means. Examples. I think this poem is about friendship. I think these are lyrics to a love song. Is this newspaper article about the environment? Do you think this is a flyer from that new restaurant? Hmm, I think this pamphlet is from a hospital about the flu vaccine. I think this is a recipe card that explains how to make chocolate cake. Two, ask each other questions about what you've just read. Examples. Do you like the text we just read? What do you think this word means? Three, ask each other how to find words, colors, or numbers in the text. Examples. On this page, let's see if we can find three adjectives. Let's find the words that have the TH sound in them, okay? I think I see three verbs here. Do you want to help me find more? Let's find some shapes. I see a triangle here. I see a circle there. Page two. Step one. Find a friend and take turns reading the text that your teacher tells you to. It could be a page in your English workbook, a worksheet, a poster, or a pamphlet example vocabulary you can use. Do you want to start reading or should I? I'll start if you don't mind. Or, you can start. Or, I started last time, so you can start today. Should I start reading here at the beginning? Point to text. Or, is this a good place to start? I think you should start here. Or, no, I think you should start at this part instead. Point to text. Or, start here at this paragraph. Can you read this paragraph here? Yes, I can. 
Or, hmm, I can try. Or, no, I can't. I don't understand it. Do you want me to help you? Yes, please. Can you read it to me? Or, no, but thank you for asking. I want to try to do it myself. Step two. Help your friend. Correct your friend when he or she makes mistakes. Or praise your friend when he or she does well. Example vocabulary you can use. Wow, you read that sentence perfectly. Thank you for the compliment. Let's go back to this word here. You didn't pronounce the TH sound very well. Let me see your tongue. It should be out a little between your teeth when you say the TH sound. You can practice by saying tree and three and seeing the difference. Like this? Or, can you show me how? Sure, look at my lips. Do you see my tongue between my teeth? Yes, I do. Let me try now. Tree, three. Tree, three. Tree, three. Tree, three. Tree, three. Phew! Good work. Step three. Continue to encourage your friend to continue learning. Example vocabulary you can use. Can you try to read some more sentences? Or, I think it's my turn. Can I please read now? I'm tired. I don't want to. I think it's your turn. Or, okay, I can try to read some more. Or, sure I can. Or, of course I can. You made a little mistake here on this part. You didn't say this right. Okay, I'll try again. Let's see if we can find three prepositions in this text. Or, let's see if we can find five words with the TH sound. Great idea! After that, let's find three nouns, three verbs in the simple past, and three verbs in the continuous progressive. Let's write a list of them to show Miss Karen. She will be so proud of us. I'll get a pencil and paper. Page three. While teaching and learning, take some notes. Look at Andréanne and Alex. See how well they're working together. Look at Florence, Grace, Miguel, and Audrey. See how well they're working together. You're going to work like that too while you fill in the questionnaire together. Okay? Okay! What kind of text are you and your partner looking at? Which colors do you see? Do you see any numbers? Who started reading today? Can you find three nouns? Can you find three verbs? Can you find three prepositions? Can you find three adjectives? Can you find three adverbs? How many TH words can you see? Page four. Pick three difficult words. Can you spell these with your eyes closed? Which shapes do you see? How many question marks do you see in the text? Who wrote the text that you are reading? How many pictures do you see in the text? Is the text shiny, dull, or does it have any texture? While you are doing this activity, what is the weather like outside? Do you see the pronoun I anywhere? Can you find a day of the week or month? How many PH words can you see? Page five. Congratulations, Congratulations. you were the teacher. Now 
it's time to be the interviewer. Step one. Think about the text that Miss Karen gave you, the one you just looked at in class. Step two. It's time to do a survey. Stand up with this paper and walk over to a classmate. Step three. Ask your classmate the questions. Write down their answers. Example. Who was your partner for this activity? My partner was Audrey. Step four. Next, your classmate will ask you some questions. Answer them. Were you a good teacher? Yes, I think I was a good teacher. I was patient and kind when I corrected some of my partner's errors. Here, you can see Grace and Audrey asking each other questions. Who was your partner? My partner was Miguel. Who was your partner? My partner was Florence. Florence? Okay, I'm going to write that down. Let's practice. Let's look at an example of how to fill out the section for interview number one. Let's watch how Grace filled out her answers. Grace asked Audrey, what's your first name? And then she wrote it down, Audrey. Grace asks, who was your partner for this activity? Audrey answers, Miguel. Grace asks, did you like reading the text with your partner? Audrey answers, yes, I did. Grace asks, was your partner a good teacher? Audrey answers, yes, he was. Grace circles the answer. Grace asks, were you a good teacher? Audrey answers, yes, I was patient and helpful. Grace circles the answer. Grace asks, can you name three nouns that you saw in the text? Audrey thinks, then she remembers. Pollution, garbage, environment. Step five, find another person and repeat. Here are pictures of four students who wrote down answers. Good work, Miguel. Good work, Florence. Good work, Audrey. Good work, Grace. Next, continue on and interview classmate number two, classmate number three, and classmate number four. So, now, my dear students, you have all the tools you need to communicate in English. Time to practice. Find a partner. Your teacher will give you a text to look at. But if you're at home with a friend, just get any kind of book, newspaper, cereal box, pamphlet, or whatever, and go through the list of questions together. Use the language you learned here in this video. With your friend, practice asking and answering questions. Then, be the interviewer yourself. Remember, you don't need a teacher to learn English. All you need is determination and practice time. Have fun! Bye-bye for now!